Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the show. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You must understand that every time you got a chance to be under them lights to suit up, that you must give everything you got and be just grateful for the game. And that is just something I, I str strongly always want to make known that how grateful I am for the game of basketball, how grateful I am to be able to travel, how grateful I am to just be able to get here and, you know, build, you know, build something of substance, something of value, something that can enhance somebody else's life. That gives me great joy. That gives me great joy to know that I'm helping somebody out. I'm giving them a little light of inspiration in a moment of time in their life that can help them strictly through my dedication to the game and my love to the game to be able to give everything I got. No matter the stage, no matter the competition, no matter what is going on around me, I give my all to the game and that leads to being an inspiration to the next generation, the next player, the next guy or well not guy, the next guy and female hooper that wants to make it to the next stage or whatever stage in life. If you're in high school wanting to go to college, if you're in college wanting to go to the pro, the tenacity and the fire that you have inside in your preparation is all the same. You must treat it all the same if you want to transition into being a pro. Because at your younger age, you don't really understand it as much because you're catered. People are like patting you in the butt, protecting you. You got colleges, you got great facilities, all that. All that squanders once you get into this life. There's even guys that go from being NBA pros for a couple years to playing in leagues where you can't use the bathroom because it's just absolutely filthy and disgusting and you wouldn't even dare to sit or even go in there. It's just a life check for you. So I say that to always remember to be prepared and be grateful because a lot of people don't make it to this life and a lot of people don't last long in this life of overseas basketball. And that's what I'm here to curate is to let everyone know like, one, to make it in this life, you must develop a certain mindset. The mindset that is needed to live this life has to be stronger than the mindset that you have used in all of your previous eras of basketball in your life. And I speak a lot more on the players from America because that's where I played my collegiate and high school basketball and that's where I lived. And I speak a lot to those guys. I reference a lot to those guys, but these really cater to all basketball players. But I reference them a lot is because we are, let's be honest, we are, what's the word, spoiled or have a greater expectations of ourselves and of the game to think that we're better than the game. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Actually, I do know where that stands from. It's because just, the overall basketball in America is better than a lot of these countries that you will be going to. So you just kind of develop a complex of thinking that I'm better. But you have to understand that your hunger and your drive for the game must be ever going and ever fluent if you want to have a prosperous career. Because this career gives out so much like extra, what's the word I'm looking for? Extra capabilities for you. You can go up in levels, you can increase your pay, you can have the opportunity to take the time, like now, I'm using this time to create something to be able to get back to create a career for me when I'm done. I'm able to build something. I speak on that a lot, the free time. A lot of guys speak on that, who do speak about this life of overseas basketball is the time that you got and the freedom that you got to be able to do something. I've chosen my time to create this from the ground up. Why is that? Because I do have the time. I mean, I've been here for the from the break when this last um, 
part of the season was over, I didn't go home, I stayed here, and I just regrouped, you know, I regrouped on life, I regrouped on all of the things that I believe is important, and I plan. I took a week to plan out this year, because I knew that going into this year, this was going to be, I like to say, the greatest year of my life, and for that to happen, I have to understand that I must focus and lock in and be fully intentional on everything that I do to make that happen. So I took like the week off to just, one, rest my body. I took a week off from the, I said I take a week off from working on my, on the podcast, but because I am a one man show at the time, it's not that because I want to be just one man and just keep it all for myself. No, it's because this is the stage that I'm at. But it's not going to stop me from doing the work. A lot of, you know, you just have to keep going until help comes or the people in your life that is supposed to be in your life to help you go to that next level comes. But you must do your part. You must do your part until that comes. And this is my part. And so I've been going like, like I said, I started on February 2nd, 2022. And now we're in January 2024. And up until that point, I never took a break. I never took a break from recording. I never took a break from uploading and doing all that. I always put a stigma or I always put like so much pressure on myself to, I got to get my episodes out. I got to do this. I got to do that so much that I was burned. I was put, I put the pressure on myself. And I said, you know what, when I took a step back to look at where I came from that day to now, I said, you know what, I deserve a week. I deserve a week off from basketball. I deserve a week off from just the, the network, just to rest my mind, to rest my brain, and to strategize and plan. So it's not, you're not really taking, taking the time to rest and really think. Think and strategize to how to improve, how to make the show better, how to improve as a basketball player, how to just overall get better. So I took that week off and now I feel like right now I feel so rejuvenated. I feel so fresh. I feel so enlightened to get back on, get back to it. I feel so great to get back to it. And that was the intro. <laughs> I, as you can see, I had a lot to talk about, a lot to go into. It's just That's just how I'm feeling right now. And that's just why I believe that gratefulness. They say gratefulness makes the heart grow bigger. So that's why I always like to stay in that moment. Because as you stay in that state of gratefulness for the game, for your life, for your opportunities, you just enjoy the little things a little bit better. You start putting in perspective the things that are important to you. And you make your reality with your life how you want it to be. So I always want to stay in a state of gratefulness in this new year. And I want you guys to understand that as well. That is what you should be looking for your life. Always be grateful for everything, man. Just for it all. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe on our YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and wherever you listen to your podcast. I greatly appreciate it.